Today we will overhaul a fuel pump. Engine is 8DC32E Daihatsu diesel 4 stroke. Keep the spare parts ready and tools. We have made an ordinary simple vise and with the help of it, we will overhaul the fuel pump. Stop and lock the control lever. Engage the turning gear. Shut the fuel supply. Low bulb priming pump must be running. Stop and lock the low bulb priming pump. After some time, remove the cam case cover. Turn the crankshaft to a position. The tappet ruler of the fuel pump may rest on the base circle of the fuel cam. Remove the connections required to take out the fuel pump. Screw the lifting tool on the fuel pump and with the help of a chain block, take it out. Shims are for the adjustment of the fuel pump timing and should be fitted back on its correct position. Wear proper protective aids, otherwise an unattentive mind could have caused a problem here. Sit the fuel pump on the vise and tighten the holding bolts. Mark positions you feel like before overhauling the fuel pump. Turn the fuel pump upside down and fix in place. Push the tappet ruler into the plunger barrel until the outside end of the tappet reaches a position deeper in the plunger barrel than the position of the pin. Detach the snap ring. Use an M620 screw to remove the pin. Release the vertical vise. Now together with the tool provided, carefully take out the tappet assembly together with the plunger and spring seat. Remove the plunger spring. Control slip might get stuck often during overhaul. We can use welder's plier with soft jaws. Take out the control slip together with the plate and spring seat. Now you can pull out the control rack. Reset back the fuel pump to its original sitting position and loosen the deflector. Remove the socket head bolts on the delivery valve holder. Remove the valve holder carefully so that the delivery valve parts should not fall down. Delivery valve consists of delivery valve spring, spring seat, discharge valve, inside a return valve and a small delivery valve spring. Loosen and remove flange tightening bolts. Remove the flange. Remove deflectors on both sides. Now again turn the fuel pump upside down. Feel the seating inside between the casing and the barrel. When it is too tight to easily pull out the plunger block or barrel, push it out by knocking the opposite end with a plastic hammer. When the fuel pump is completely overall, parts to be kept in diesel for cleaning, followed by a good blow of air and inspection of internal parts.
With the help of a dial gauge, check the bearing clearance while the ruler is moved up and down. Measure the tappet clearance, should not be more than 0.25 mm. Inspect grooves for any streaky layer buildup or any sign of cavitation. Check for any scratch mark on the ceiling surfaces of the plunger block as well as thoroughly inspect the internal parts. Visual check on the teeth of the control sleeve for any damage. Delivery valve holder seating surfaces. Check the rubber seal and renew the o-ring. Examine closely each valve element. Renew o-rings for the deflectors. And internal inspection of the fail pump casing. Now I think it's ready for assembly. I fit the backup rings in such a manner that the close gap of a backup ring is segregated 180 degree apart approximately from the close gap of the other backup ring. This is a slot for uh, locating the plunger block inside the casing by a design position set screw. Apply a thin coat of grease inside. Lubricate the plunger block and insert into the pump housing while making certain that the set screw hole in the plunger barrel and the hole in the pump housing are aligned. Screw the socket head bolts and any adjustments required to align the hole can be done by a screwdriver. Place the flange in correct position. Apply molly coat on the uh, threads of the hex bolts. Tighten the hex bolts uh, evenly in opposite direction with the torx panel as per torx specified by the manufacturer. Place the locating pin on the plunger block. Without the valve element, uh, place the valve holder in correct position and put an identification mark. Remove the valve holder and thoroughly lubricate inside the uh, sliding surfaces. Lubricate each parts of the delivery valve. Place the delivery valve spring inside the slot of the plunger block. Assemble return valve and discharge valve together and place them together on the delivery valve spring. Place the delivery valve spring which is little bigger in size than the other spring. Place the spring seat. Place the delivery valve holder and hold it firmly and evenly on the matching marks. Apply molly coat and screw to socket head bolts in opposite direction and uh, keep in hand tight condition. Tighten the socket head bolts as per the specified torque in opposite direction. Control sleeve has two group of gear teeth on the circumference of the body and they are separated by a slot. One group has equal number of teeth as on the fuel racks and the other gap has more number of teeth so while installing make sure that the end part of the gear teeth of the control sleeve is engaged with the end part of the gear teeth to the control rack turn the fuel pump upside down push the control rack inside insert the control sleeve in such a manner that the equal number of teeth to be engaged together between that control rack and control sleeve Check the end gear teeth must go inside together. Plunger has double helix slots on the upper part, then five number of grooves. The grooves will minimize leakage. On the wing of the plunger, notice a Z mark. While assembling the fuel pump, make sure the Z mark should be positioned opposite to the fuel rack. This will allow the plunger to be fitted in correct position between oil holes and the barrel. I would like to follow the easiest non-complicated way is to insert the plunger on the slot provided in the lower spring seat in such a manner that the Z mark is in line with the slot groove on the tappet and ruler assembly. Check the seal on the upper spring seat and renew the o-ring. Insert plate and upper spring seat. Insert the spring. Insert ruler, tappet and plunger assembly. 
you may face problem like uh, the plunger is stuck somewhere uh, i think this is the problem because uh, the hole in the barrel is not correctly aligned vertically perpendicular to the plunger and roller assembly which you are putting in so use a screwdriver and shift the position of the plunger a little bit uh, and it will go smoothly i believe check that the roller springs without any obstruction place a wooden block and press the ruler till the slot on the tappet uncovers the hole in the casing fully by that time also check the fitness of the control rack if you feel like any obstruction do not try to force it release the ruler a little bit till the fuel rack slides smoothly change the fuel rack position a little bit and try to compress again until the ruler is compressed fully with the hole on the casing is totally uncovered make sure the fuel rack is not stuck at any position irrespective of the position of the ruler insert pin and snap ring and check the snap ring freeness insert the locating pin on the barrel once the fuel pump is boxed up completely place it carefully on the engine casing at the same time fuel pump ruler should sit on the base circle of the fuel cam adjust the torque and tighten the foundation bolt as per manual lower scrub line on the housing matches like y mark with the tappet while the upper scrub line indicates the static point of start of injection turn the crankshaft using the turning gear and check the roller freely moves on the cam when all the connections are fitted back open the fuel oil line this is a good time to clean the fuel pump filter on the lubrication line close the cam case door and run the lube oil priming pump disengage the turning gear half an hour later after the primary lubrication blow through and run the engine at no load check all the parameters are normal there should not be any deviation more than the limit between the fuel pump bracks run for parallel operation for at least half an hour check for any abnormality run it on full load a good performance will ensure the fuel pump uh, being installed correctly Uh, hands on hands with uh, Mr. Pavan Kumar, Mr. Vinit Vardwaj, and myself, Mr. Pavan Chakravarti. Hope you had a good time with me. Good luck.